This is a single interlock reaction riser. Uh, single interlock reaction riser utilizes a deluge valve uh, and a check valve in the riser. A single interlock reaction system is a closed piping network with air pressure in the system. The air pressure utilized in the system uh, is, is not holding anything mechanically shut. It's there for supervision purposes. So you will know if the system piping is tight, uh, meaning that there's no, no broken pipe or broken sprinkler. The air pressure used in the system uh, is, is used just as a supervisory alarm. If I lose air pressure on the sprinkler system, uh, water does not flow. The only method of making water flow through a single interlock pre-action system that has an electric release is through the release system. Uh, uh, here we have a panel with a smoke detector. If the smoke detector were to operate, the solenoid on the riser would open, draining the priming pressure uh, from the deluge valve, allowing the deluge valve to open, and then we would flood the system piping with water. Once the sprinkler activated, water would flow immediately from the sprinkler head. The system uh, can only be reset by closing the control valve, uh, draining the system, resetting the release system, and then opening the control valve. To activate the system, the detection must operate, then through a release control panel, the detection then tells the panel to power open the solenoid valve. Once the release system is activated, the panel will power open the solenoid and a piezo sound is generally made from the panel. To silence the piezo, you can either activate a tone silence or an alarm silence. The system is operated. Uh, to simulate a sprinkler head opening up, we have a control valve in the back. We'll open that up and water flow will occur. To reset the system, our first action is to close the control valve. Okay, once the control valve is closed, water will stop flowing through the system. Uh, we're able to uh, close our air off while we're resetting the system. Our, our next action is to open the main drains uh, on the riser. We have a main drain at the check valve level because the check valve uh, essentially checks the water pressure uh, past the clapper. Once the riser is drained, you can reestablish air pressure into the sprinkler piping network. So you'd have to repair the sprinkler if it were fused or if a pipe were broken, that would have to be repaired as well. While you're refilling a system full of air, you want to open a, an auxiliary drain valve connected to the deluge valve riser trim. That will drain down the deluge valve and any water that's been uh, residual or left residual in the trim of the uh, deluge valve. Once that's completely drained, close the auxiliary drain valve and you're able to reset your release system which will take the power away from the solenoid valve and close it and pressurize the priming chamber. The way that you know that the priming chamber uh, has water pressure in it is through your priming pressure gauge. So we'll reset the panel and you'll see gradually prime pressure builds on the riser. <clears throat> At this point, we're able to open up our control valve. We want to open up our flow test valve, which is on the inlet chamber of the deluge valve when we establish a water flow. We'll crack open our, our water supply. And then we're able to close our flow test valve completely. and then entirely open the control valve. Once the control valve is completely open, we can go back to our release control panel, reset the panel, and that will take care of any supervisory alarms that we may have.